Hello you, welcome to Geekism and welcome to Isla Muerta, the second island of Jurassic World Evolution. Uh, this one looks a little bit rougher than the first, I'll be honest with you. If you enjoy this video, please let me know by clicking the like button. And if you're new here and you'd like to see lots more crazy canyon for grown-ups, uh, don't forget to go ahead and click subscribe. My god, look at all this! We've got Pero, we've got Exhibits Broken, we've got all sorts. Um, fix, yeah, we do want to fix damage. Okay, do we have a range team? Yes, range team one. Um, add task disabled. Is that because the power's out? Okay, so we're going to have to do this manually. Okay. Um, okay, so it looks like we're going to have to go and do a bit of a manual job here, fixing stuff up before we can even begin to look at what's going on. Uh, so let's do that then, repair. There we go. I think we're back in business. Oh, that's nice. We've repaired something. Let's repair that as well. It's just a case of getting there and clicking it from the looks of things. We've got this little compass at the top here. Looks like the fence is open. So let's get over here and fix the fence. And then I assume... Assume we're going to have to find some... Uh, some running free dinos. Uh, interestingly then, so rep uh, is all reset. Uh, rep on each island is completely different. And also money's reset as well, so um, there we go, we'll come away from you. So that's everything repaired. Uh, I'm assuming that's telling us there's a storm. And that one there is telling us that the uh, the people are in a bunker. Okay, so let's have a look. We have... Oh, there's no dinos here. Okay. Yeah, emergency shelter, alarm activated. So substation one, power consumption... So where's, our, where's the actual power? Substation two... Do we have power? Small power station. Oh yeah, there it is. Okay, so we have power uh, rangers. We have two creation labs. That seems a little bit superfluous. Let's um, let's get rid of at least one of those, and maybe I like this. How they've done this with the with the fences, but I feel like we can we can be a little bit better with them. So let's uh, before we start doing anything, let's demolish you. There we go. And you. And then we'll put one of you in the enclosures, isn't it? There we go. We'll put one of you in the middle. Uh, might have to adjust the fences a little. Uh, that's where we want it. But the, uh, yeah, it needs adjusting. That's fine. So let's, um, let's go back to demolish. And yeah. And yeah. We get a lot of money back from the gates. There we go. Okay. And uh, we'll take a little bit more away as well, actually, to be safe. Okay. Right, let's put you back in then. Uh, closures. There we go. And hopefully we can fit you there now. We can. I'll tell you what we'll do, actually, we'll, to make sure we get it right. Um. If we want electric fences, let's just go normal for now. There we go, because I don't actually know what dinos we're going to put in this area just yet. Um, so let's go back to... There we go. You, you clicked then, you clicked. Yeah, 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 there we go, perfect. Okay, so we'll put you... There. All right. And then this fence can actually, uh, to be honest, all of this can go. Because we'll just do one long one down the middle like we did in that last one. Because that seems to work pretty well for us, to be honest with you. It's a little bit extra work to make sure we uh, we really see what's going on. But for the most part, that actually worked pretty good. Um, as long as we can this time. Yeah, let's go there and come to about here, and then across, and we've gone sort of like four and a bit there, so to about there. It doesn't have to be exact. There we go. Oh, and then we need another one here, don't we? Because uh, otherwise we've just got one big old uh, cage, and we don't want that. We want something a little bit more useful. 
Uh, path not connected. That's fine. Give me a second, please. Uh, all shelters open. Oh, have you opened that for me? I completely forgot about that. Uh, Close shelter. There we go. Are you telling me there's no path? That's fine. We'll sort you out in a second. Let me just get some gates up and running first, please. Uh, gates, there we go. So we'll have we'll go this way with them, I think, this time. So we'll do one there. And we'll do one there. And we need a couple actually going into the places as well, don't we? So we'll have one there and one there. There we go. Okay, and then paths. Um, we just need to join you up, don't we? There we go. Yeah, I literally just want to go there with you. There we go. Good. You made a bit of a weird thing there, but that's okay. Can we neaten that up a little bit? No? It's just how you want to be? You want to do what you want to do? Uh, oops. We shouldn't have done that, but we will do it. Let's fix that path. Just because it's going to bug me a little. It's going to bug me a little if it isn't right. There we go. And then we can come up to there. And then we'll just fix that bit of power line there from here to... Whoops. To there. Okay, that's both of you done. Pretty small paddocks here, if I'm honest with you. So we're not going to be able to chuck much in here. But what we can do is hopefully get some new dinos now because we have let's have a look we've got a power station there really isn't much on this island so far we've got an arrival point that's where people actually turn up we've got storm defense and power station and then we have a hammond center a shelter and a ranger station so we've, we've actually got nothing in in the way of going out and finding new buildings so um what we'll do first of all the most important thing we need is an acu because we need we need to be able to knock out those dinos as they get wound up so hopefully oh there really isn't that much room here at all is that let's have a look see if we can spin this round terrain constraints okay what about what about like somewhere like this no what about like that yeah there we go that'll do uh, a bit further down to the path oh perfect there we go our ACU can go there. Now, this is not going to be a pretty one, this, I don't think. Looking at it, it's all about storms. It's all about keeping people um, safe. So I'm going to play this one as a bit more of a sciencey level, I think. I think this is more sort of a, like a... Uh, it's more of a nature reserve as opposed to... Uh, you know, as opposed to sort of other 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 reasons for, for this place existing. So we're just... Kind of smoothing out the paths here a little bit so they're not quite as extreme as they were. So a little bit extreme over there, but I'll let it go. Okay, and let's do a bit of a bit of bushery here. No trees. I've got trees there, no trees there, okay. No, actually no, we can't have trees there because that's the way in. Okay, so we'll leave that open for now. So there's our ACU. So any, any dinos kick off in a little while, we can do that. Now, I'm assuming our dinos do carry over, so we should have... Yeah, we still have our six dinos from before. By the way, this one, Hyangosaurus. I got that one um, at the end of the last level. When I said I said before, didn't I, that I would I would play the game a little off-piece, um, off sort of off-camera, off and try and do a few of these contracts, because basically, if you get, um, if you get their reputation up with each of them... You can see here, look, they they open up uh, all this stuff. So here we can get a new dino with the entertainment. Um, we get a medium power station with security. And here we just get uh, increases on uh, hatchery capacity and dig yield and stuff. So here, to be honest with you, toy shop. Oh, do you know what? Entertainment's pushing me again, but um, I, I want a toy shop. I want a toy shop. Um, all right, we'll go entertainment. We're going to go entertainment because I want a toy shop. Uh, so let's go back to this, and then we can request contracts, you see. And you can do one of these once a minute. So we'll start a new contract. Uh, build, connect, and power an expedition center. That's perfect because we're going to do that anyway. So let's um, now get some money for it instead. There we go. more buildings we have, the more chance we have to increase our revenue. That's exactly right. Let's find a research expedition center. There we go. Um, and let's stick you. Do you know what? We'll have you right as we come in. Why not? If we can. This the terrain here is pretty crazy. 
but let's go there. Like I say, we will, I think, play this more of a sort of science level, but you know what? If entertainment is going to give us cool stuff, then we can always do with a bit of entertainment, can't we? Let's uh, let's have a bit of smoothy smooth there. Just a little, just see if we can take the edge off that bit of path there. We go. It's much better. Much better, thank you. Nobody's going to be coming in yet because, quite frankly, we have no dinosaurs for them to come and look at. Even the scientists are going to want to have dinos to come and look at. Um, suggest you consider taking this acquire at least 60% of the Velociraptor gene. Velociraptors, that can't be a good idea on this island, surely. Um, I'm going to decline that for now. I'm going to decline that one for now, okay? Uh, we will, obviously we want we want raptors, but right now that ain't the way uh, to go about things, I don't think. Let's um, swing this round here. Play that in there, and can we quite join it up? Not quite, so we'll just come across the road like that. And then join you up, there we go. I wasn't sure about this one, but you delivered. You're down right, we delivered, and that's going to start to increase the... Uh, the entertainment uh, thingy there. So, to be honest, we need to keep doing those for a little while because um, until we get to there, the mission opens, you see. So let's go back for another one. Uh, less than a minute until the request. All right, well, so I kind of want to hold on just in case the, the mission is to build a build a, a building we need. We I suppose we could we can start sending people out, can't we? Uh, oh, because now we've opened up these the, a few more of these now because uh, we have two expedition centers because we have one on the first island as well. So we've now got some... Uh, some new places that we can come and check out. So Ankylosaurus, Triceratops, Trichorix, um, Corythosaurus, Ankylosaurus, Triceratops, Struthiomimus. Uh, so I want to try and find somewhere that's only got new ones. Mm, Corey and Ed Edmonton's. Corey and Anclio, they're newish. We've got the Anclio, I think. Is that, that was the new one we got. Yeah, let's go for that one. Start. Off you go. They sound like new dinos for us. Okay, we have our first uh, bits and bobs coming in. We've got a fossil center set up as well. But, um, oh no, yeah, that's all we need, isn't it, fossils? When they're coming, so let's have a look what we've got. Uh, okay, look at this dude here, Coriathosaurus fossil. Let's extract the DNA of you and also some Ankylosaurus fossil. Nice. Okay, we'll take all of that. Uh, looking good. So part of me wants to maybe just turn this into a big uh, herbivore paddock because, you know what, as much as um, the carnivores are cool in a place where there's going to be a lot of storms, uh, part of me thinks that maybe herbivores are the way to go for at least to start off with until we're a bit more set up. So let's um, let's go to landscaping. Let's, let's just clear out this area here just for one second, just so I can kind of see what's going on. There we go. Thanks for that. There we go. Enter you out a little bit. And over this side as well. Very good. Oh, lovely stuff. Lovely stuff. Okay, great. There we go. And then what we'll do is we'll make this enclosure. Uh, no, not a gate. We'll make this enclosure a uh, fair old bit bigger. Aiming down from here. We'll come down one, two full. And then we'll go across like so. And then we'll run it long ways here. How are we doing here? We're a little off here, aren't we? Okay, let's um, see if we can neaten that up a bit. Try that again. More like there, I guess. I feel like I'm a little bit off, but I think it's more to do with the slope. Um, let's go down here. No, we did, we did do two full so we have gone off a little bit but you know what you're never going to get that perfect are you let's be honest uh, and then we can get rid of basically all of this and it just keeps uh, upkeep down it's going to keep uh, uh, dinos happier it's going to keep me happier it's going to keep me more sane okay and now we've just got a big old paddock for some big old dinos. Okay, that's kind of the, the thing I think is probably a good way to go. To start off with, at least, like I say, until we get a little bit more uh, sort of uh, secure. So can we can we bring this up a little? Because this, uh, 
Pulse is pretty low here. We can do a bit to it, but not much. Okay, so we'll, we'll leave it as is. And what we can do then is that can be a forested area. That's going to be all low anyway. We can do that with it. Okay, and in fact we'll make the forest around the back here. And then we'll clear off this bit from the front. And we'll actually remove the water from here as well. So that can be our big old plain there. We'll make all this uh, bush around the side. So we've got some bush, we've got some trees, we've got some plain area. Uh, and then we'll have some water uh, up the front here. There we go. And over on this side as well. Uh, I actually quite like that two little pools. We'll keep that. Um, but this one here needs to be a little bit more of an interesting shape. Lovely, much better. Okay, great. And then we'll go for some feeders. So we'll do uh, a little feeder over there. And we'll do a little feeder over here. And we'll do a little feeder over here. A little feeder right up. Too expensive? Oh my god. Oh my god. I didn't even think about the expense. Um, fossils are done. Yeah, okay. Well, in that case, <laughs> might have to get rid of a fair bit of that. Oh, to be fair, we can we can lose. Uh, we could probably lose one of them and get twenty five grand back. We can lose a gate and get fifty five grand back. All we need is enough for one dino. As soon as we've got one dino, people will start coming in. Um, yeah, that, that that that's gonna help, isn't it? Okay, so Hammond creation incubate dinosaur one hundred thirty two grand. What can we afford? Uh, oh, we can bought some Struthiomimus. Hurrah for Struthiomimus. Uh, everything else is too expensive. So, um, yeah, let's just go for a couple of them. Thank you, base. You know what? You know where you stand with a couple of Struths, don't you? Let's be honest, you know where you stand with a couple of Struths. Um, all right, okay, so that's going to give us 60. But like I say, hopefully this will mean some money coming in because we'll have a couple of dinos. Right, um, okay, so we've got four of the little Struths running around, and it gives us a grand total of 0.1 on our dinosaur racing. We're also working on no power outages and getting our guest visitor counts up 300. I think this is kind of how you have to start off early game, you know, piggybacking a few of these. Hopefully, uh, the power outages, you know, we just kind of have to keep our fingers crossed for no storms. Uh, but the dino rating and the guest count will obviously go up together, so it's kind of killing two birds with one stone. Uh, we just have a north. I think we should start with one of our new guys here. They get a rating of 28, 31. See, that, I mean, you do you get a better rating on you, but you're, you're half a million dollars, so... Um, yeah, I think we go for you. you got a pretty good base rating for the cost, so... And a 62% viability... It all rests on this. If this fails, we might as well restart the level. <laughs> um, if our Hyangosaurus, Hyangosaurus, interesting name. I assume it's like a Japanese. Uh, uh, it was discovered in Japan or something like that. Let's have a look. Find a little bit of info about it while we're while we're bringing it up. Um, dinos, because it's all new to me. You see. Yangosaur is a small stegosaur from China. Okay, cool, that makes sense. It names me, names me, it, blah, blah, blah. its name means Yangang Lizard uh, from the region it was first discovered. There you go. Okay, uh, it had the same small head, back plates, and spike tail, but unlike Stegosaurus, its back plates were more like spikes. So they are, look at that. So it's from the Stego sort of series, uh, era Middle Jurassic. So I wonder if there's going to be a problem with putting this in with stuff from the Cretaceous period, because I'm pretty sure these, these little dudes here are Cretaceous. Um, well, it tells me somewhere, doesn't it? Um, I thought it did. Hmm. Thought it. Yeah, in Gen Day Space. Does it tell me there? Late Cretaceous, you see. So I hope I hope that's not a problem in mixing together because I really don't know my dinosaurs well enough for that to be a thing. Uh, how are we doing? Come on. Oh, it looks like we're good. I'd be really surprised if that. Normally, when they fail, they fail down here. I don't know whether every percent it rolls a die to consider it failing or not, because that sounds pretty awful if it does. Um, but here we go. It's a new dino for us, folks. The Hyangosaurus. And she is a beauty. I've always been a bit of a fan of the whole sort of stegos. Stegs and, tri and trikes have always been like my favourite kind of looking dinosaurs. I, I, I like the idea of 
Um, you know, oh look, a little jump, boing boing. <laughs> I like the idea of the, you know, I'm happy to eat leaves, but I will mesh you up if I need to. You know, that kind of, that kind of mixes it is pretty good. Um, all right, cool. So she's pretty happy. A bit more forest. Oh no, no, she's happy. Oh, it's oh, it must be a radius around her because that's just gone up as she's moved closer to forest. Ah, that's interesting. Uh, population social. She'd like another one. As soon as I've got the money, you can have one, my love. But um, for now. You'll have to hold on. Oh, no, we have the money. Wow, that was a bit of a boost. We must have got a... Oh, we got so much for increasing guests, in a way. So, should we get another one of you, then? Again, we'll risk it for a biscuit. Because um, we've got 13 grand to our name now. Uh, but power outages is going well. And then this dino racing, that'll just keep uh, ticking up. It looks like we can have three of these at once. So, let's have a look. We'll do a science one or an entertainment one. Um, let's go science. Keep two of them happy. Release a Dracorex with the Robust Digestion Modification. Oh, I don't think we have either the Robust Digestion Modification. Or really the money for a Dracorex. Um, no, go on, we'll do that one. We can do that. Dracorex can be our next dino. Because we have to keep bumping the dinos up to get this dino rating up anyway. Um, but let's have a look if we have the... Uh, let me find where it is. There, research. Oh, we need the facility just to look at the research that's pretty rough isn't it so that's gonna have to be the next thing we build then operations let's have a look research center 400 grand all right well we'll uh we'll sit on there uh, we'll sit on this it's very slowly ticking up so as soon as it gets up to a decent number or something happens i'll come back to you okay robust digestion has been complete so while a bit away then we had a storm but we managed to get past it so we got our uh bonus for no power outages and now we've got to get a new genome or to 50% um, the problem is at the moment I can't really afford a new power station so what I'm having to do is and I don't want to build it you can deactivate it like this and that stops it using power so I'm having to go between a couple of buildings because we do want the fossil one done now because uh, we need to go and have a look at our uh, dinos um, where are we? No, no, no where did we just see dinosaurs? Oh, uh, right, not you. Arna navigation, no, not you. Expedition map, no, not you. Fossils, no. Research, no. Ingen database, dinosaurs, no. So we have to actually go to the Hammond. There's no menu for it. All right. Uh, so I want to see which one we're going to start to work towards. We have to get one of them. To, one of them that aren't fifty two fifty. So we've got the um, Corythosaurus or the Ankylosaurus. So either of those, they're both around the same. So let's go out there and see what we can whoop, see what we can find. Didn't mean to turn the camera there. Still didn't mean to turn the camera there. There we go. Uh, okay, so we want the uh, Ankylosaurus or the Corythosaurus. So there's Cory, there's Cory, there's none of them. There's Anklo and Cory. That's quite a good one actually. Um, that's Corian Anklo as well. Although it says partially depleted, does that mean we're not going to get any good ones from there? Or can we go until it... Or do they only get, like, we get good ones in the first place? Is that the, is that the idea? Anything else opened up here? Oh, yeah, look, loads opened in Russia. Velociraptor, Velociraptor, where well, they would be. Oh, no, China they're in. Um, they would be miles away, wouldn't they? Chunk... Chunk... Is that called a Chunkingosaurus? What a ridiculous name. Um, okay... And also a Dilophosaurus is there as well. So we've got a couple more meat eaters over this side. I just, Velociraptors scare me. They, they just freak me out. I don't know what to say. Nothing up here, is there? No, no dinos made it up there, did they? All right, two minutes remaining on Canada, so we'll see how we get on there. Uh, we can now do our Dracorex with his robustness. Robustness? With her robustness either. So Dracorex modified genome. Let's have a look. Uh, is it under defense? Skin toughness? No. Oh, so how do we open these then? Oh, we need better complete... Oh dear, we need better genome completion. Ah, oh okay, well I didn't see that coming. Um, Alright, so we need to we need to get them out there finding the Dracorex as well. Alright, so we're on a fossil search basically. Uh, we have our toy shop as well. I'm not going to put that down here. I just wanted to unlock it for when we do eventually move on to the sandbox mode. And that is the plan by the way. Uh, is Once we've got enough stuff and enough dinos, we're going to move into Isla Nubar, which is the uh, the sandbox mode. And we just kind of make a big, open, really nice looking uh, park. So kind of get the best of both worlds here. We do a little bit of career. 
uh, and see how that sort of plays out and you know look at the sort of things that we that we have to work around and all that and then we're also going to be looking at doing uh, just a pretty old park where money's not an option and all that kind of stuff so um okay so as soon as they come back we'll turn them into hopefully get some decent fossils we'll get this genome up i don't know whether we'll get it up to 50 in one go that's that's my only worry is that we don't get it up to 50 in one try uh okay i'm gonna uh carry on playing a little then if anything happens i'll let you know well, that took an absolute age because we were every time I got some Dracorex fossil, it was like a crappy one star one that gave me like 1%. But I think this one should bump us to 70%. I mean, it's gone off the screen, but it looked like it did. So let's, for now, while fossils aren't doing anything, let's shut you down. I have got enough money for another power plant, but for now, I'm happy to let the money roll in for a little while and just kind of do this. Oh, look at this as well. When something's deactivated, listen to the noise it makes. I don't know if you can hear that, but it goes, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, just like um, the uh, the virus in the first one did that the guy set up. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, didn't say the magic word. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Uh, okay, cool. Uh, right, let's have a look at this. Then we have an item available, a building. Oh, we can build a monorail. Oh, it costs two million. We won't do that then. Okay, good. Uh, well, we've got all the visitor centers there on lot to the Sun Defense Station. Visitor buildings. Uh, arcade. Bowling alley, uh, bar, and fossil zone. Okay, cool. So they're still out to open, and then we have better, uh, better power. We can get that one here eventually. That's the site. That's the generating from there, uh, from security. Okay, cool. Uh, right. In that case, let's just get something small on the go. What's these fossils? What are they? Oh, Dulux fossils. Oh, these are the five that we get from having the buying the Dulux version. I think. Oh, okay, cool. 110. Yeah, let's get him on the go. Let's get a Dulux Dino. Um, okay, and now we can do uh, Dracorex with uh, the modification, I think. There we go. Modify genome. Uh, come on. Oh, my word. 73%. It better be that one. If it's up here, I'm going to cry. Okay. Um, we're still trying to work on that 50% of the Ankylosaurus one as well. Ugh, my god, I really thought we'd done it then. Um, you're out and about, aren't you? No? Are you back from that one? Should we send you again? Because we're desperate for Anklo stuff. Um, let's activate you. That'll tell us we've got no power. That's fine. When this is done... Oh, it's quite a long one, look. When this is done, we'll turn it off. In fact, let's just turn it off now because we're not we're not too worried about uh, we're not too worried about new dinos right now. We just want to get the uh, some simple quest sorted. Ah, finally, uh, there we go. That'll do. We're actually going. It wasn't the one we were going for, but I'll take it. If it gets me up to fifty percent on this genome, we'll take it. That's that that line there is for the Ankylosaurus. But if we can get the um, uh, Corythosaurus, was it? Let's have a look. We can get the Corythosaurus one up. This should give us loads, I think, Amber. I think Amber gives us like 10, 15% maybe. In fact, let's hang around and find out. I know the Amber is like the best one you can get because uh, the guy had it in his walking stick and that's how I know. So they've gone over to Canada. They found an old guy with a walking stick and they beat him up and took his walking stick off him and bought the amber back. That's how this works, you see. I know all about this sort of thing. I, I do science. 42%. Uh, okay, so nearly there. This one, one star. This won't give us 8%, unfortunately. Um, but we've already got him out there. So, oh, one more Corythosaurus or Ankylosaurus. Either be fine. I'll take I'll take one of each. Let's get them both up to 50%. Let's release some new dinos. We've got loads of cash for them now. So, in fact, we should probably look at increasing our dino rating just with some uh, standard dino. So we've got a couple of those, didn't we? Uh, we've got four of those. We could do some Edmontosauruses. They're pretty good, aren't they? So let's do a couple of those. We have a pretty decent return. 24 rating. Oh, we've we've modified those a little bit, have we? Okay, well, that's fine. We'll get two of those on the go. Um, And that'll increase our... Uh, one and a half a star. That really shouldn't have taken us that long to get to, to be honest. But to be honest, I was waiting for these two to to go really whereas to be honest we should just be throwing dinos in there shouldn't we really 
that's kind of how it works. Chuck some dinos in. What's the worst going to happen? We, it's best to be flippant about your dinos. Less than a minute remaining. Dig team returning. Look how quick they get from Canada. Oh, my words. How speedy that helicopter was. Good stuff. That's what we like. Let's have a look at our fossils. What do we get? Oh, okay. Anglis at the... Oh, I don't think it's going to do it. I don't think it's going to do it. I don't think that's going to do it either. Oh, it's a shame. That's a shame. I would have really liked to have ticked one of those off. But never mind. We'll have to do it in the next episode. Uh, because we're running a little bit long into this one. So we're going to call it a day. We'll let we'll get these two going. And then we'll let them out. See what that does to our dino rating. Hopefully it'll push it up to 0.3 uh, of a rating. Or something like that. Talking of rating. How are we doing everything else? Okay, satisfaction. We could probably work a little bit on food and drink. Uh, we have a zero shopping rating right now. So let's see if we can do uh, a little shopping build um, and we'll drop it apparently they work well next to the viewing stations I didn't realize that I was always building like a main street but I was just having a little look on um, on reddit and somebody says that these are uh, the way to go about it is to do them like this okay so we'll do a cheap path because you know paths are cheap we'll truck it up to there we're also we're going to need that power station I didn't want to do it because it's expensive but we're going to need it. So let's put that over here. Anywhere will it go? Yeah, no. Oh, that was fine there then. There we go. And we'll just join you up to there. Put a path in. Bit of an angle. Bit of a, let's have a nice curve up to it. There we go. Looking good. Yep. Yeah. Okay, hopefully both those will open. We have some dinos to release. Release and release. Oh, no, he's going to tell me. You're going to tell me that they're, they're a bit too cramped. I think that's a pretty big enclosure. It's fine. We can easily fix it. All we have to do is come to our fences. We haven't got much money, but we can we can bring it down here like this, can't we? So let's do that. Um Oh, 13 grand. Wow, fences are more expensive than I thought. Haha. <laughs> uh, Dino rating's gone up to 0.3 though, so at least that's something. Uh, okay, we'll we'll in we'll extend the fence in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, then give us a like. It really does help out the channel. And if you're not already, don't forget to subscribe. Any thoughts, queries, or suggestions, you can pop those down in the comments. And if you fancy a chat, you can find me on Twitter. I'm at John T. Sparrow. If you'd like to join in with the Geekism community, you can do so over on our Geekism Discord server. You'll find the link for that in the description. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.